October is the month that we really need to concentrate on controlling one of our worst insect problems in our peach trees. And that insect happens to be the peach tree borer. The peach tree borer causes more problems on our homeowner peach trees and also in commercial than just about any other pest. And usually it's nothing more than a result of the peach tree being in poor condition or being under any kind of stress due to compaction or competition from weeds or any other kind of damage. And that usually is a signal that triggers the peach tree borer to come in. And October, again, is one of the times that we want to try to control the borer. Now, the borer will actually penetrate right in at the soil line, and he will bore into the tree and block up the cambium layer. And this time of year, the peach tree borer is usually in the trunk. And for those of you in South Oklahoma, you have until the end of October to put on an application of what we call PDB crystals. If you're in the central portion or the northern part of the state, you want to try to get this application in at least by the 15th of October. Now the first thing that you want to do is make sure that you've got peach tree borer damage. And again, it's usually right at the soil line and you'll see a nice little hole with some of the sap oozing out. On our tree here, we don't really have much infection, but the trees adjoining us are infested with peach tree borers. And it's the same case with you in your home situation. If you have at least 50% of your trees infected, you probably want to go ahead and control or treat all of the trees. First thing you do is dig a nice little trench around the trunk of the tree. And you want to dig that trench out about an inch and a half to two inches away from the trunk because you don't want to get any of the crystals in direct contact with the trunk. Get out any pieces of bark or debris so they don't plug up the area. Measure out your recommended amount of crystals, which we've already done, and just follow the label directions. It's usually based on the years of age of your tree. Once you've done that, always use gloves because we are working with the pesticide again. And we put ours in a little plastic container here so it makes it a little bit easier to distribute the crystals around in our trench that we've dug. And after you've applied all of the crystals, your next step is to come in and cover up the soil. And just cover up the area, and when you're pushing the soil over the crystals, try not to push them up again in direct contact with the trunk of the tree. So come in and use your gloves if you're going to come in any contact. Ours are down deep enough that we're not going to have to worry about it. And again, watch the debris, pack that down. And another good way to do it is to use a little bit of soil and put that around the tree. And, and what you're doing is you're making a mound. And the way these crystals work is they actually vaporize once moisture and the different conditions get to them, they vaporize up and hopefully those vapors will get in where those bores are contained. Now there's some real important things that you want to remember once you put these crystals in. A lot of the different brands will suggest that you come in in a few weeks and dig those crystals back out. And that's always a good idea to do once they've had time to vaporize and work. So always follow the label and read those directions. It's real important that you do that again because you can actually cause damage if you put too much on or get them too close to the trunk of the tree. Now the other time of the year that we want to apply controls for our peach tree borers are in the summertime when the adults are a little bit more active and you would use something like Thiodan or Lorsban and make an application usually once in May, June, and July. And again, follow those directions and that application is not done on the foliage but it's done on the trunk of the tree, usually from the crotch area to the point of runoff down to the base of the tree. So these are a couple of timely hints that you can do on controlling the peach tree borer. And remember, any kind of damage such as this from a weed eater actually just invites the borer to come in. So keep a grass-free area around your tree where you don't have any kind of problems with the competition. Well, the next thing to do on your calendar for the peach tree is to do a little pruning in February. So we'll be getting back with you during that time. And that's all the time we have today here on Oklahoma Gardening. 
Hope you've enjoyed the show and join us next week. We hope you enjoyed this video. It's part of our OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. You can also find more recent videos on our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion.